Hello and welcome on 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adeni Aji Shafer. It's time to take you around the world of sport again. It's always juicy when it comes to that particular sector. Well, even though a lot of people need to understand that sport really is business. Now we have to look at uh, stories trending. Pizarro right now as you speak is still in England trying to talk to Nigerian uh, players. Uh, the one we call Super Eagles who actually apply their trade in the EPL. The likes of Taiwa Woni. A lot of them are there applying their trade. But right now, Super Eagles coach is there to see how he can look into their performances what they have been doing so far for their clubs well recently news came out that the likes of Dennis could be uh, uh, surplus requirement with his club Nottingham Forest due to his performance but uh, Taiwa Wuni has been doing well when it comes to uh, scoring goals he just did yesterday well a good one there but I have in the studio I have a lady <laughs> who will be talking in sport with me. That's uh, Madia Umar. Good to have you. Good morning. And I also have uh, uh, in the person of Noel Samson. Good to have you, Noel. Good morning, Mr. Jenny. Good morning there. Now, we just saw there the, uh, our players who actually play their trade in Europe, but mm. we are focusing on England now. Pizarro is there to talk to them, to see them, right? I know to talk to them, to see them how they are fearing concerning football over there in England. Madia. Okay, so. Um First of all, I would say it's a very good move because this gives them a sense of belonging. They're mm -hmm. playing for Nigeria and getting a coach who's just trying to test the waters for Nigerian team, uh, getting out there and seeing that they're okay, they're very well, uh, their psychological uh, psyche is in the best position. I think that's a good move for me. But aside that, there are things that we could do other than just putting our egg in one basket. These guys are doing very well, no doubt. We have players like Awuni, of course, he's doing very well. Uh, Onyekuru, of course, he's not in oh, Europe, yes. but we know that, of yeah, course, he's doing and very well. Yeah, Nacho and Leicester City, not very much in the best form, but, you know, they're pushing because it, it, it doesn't rest on the both of them alone. It has to be with a club thing. And in the Premier League so far, we haven't seen the best of Leicester City, that no doubt, but our players are very important. But like, let's get back to what I said. I said going to visit some of the players. He should also use this time to scout for very good players. We have a lot of Nigerian players who are playing in Europe mm -hmm. that are not, you have not signed allegiance to Nigerians yet. This is a time for you to bring them to the table. Let's have a conversation. This is what you get if you play for Nigeria. This is your country. You can do this. And I'm sure that if we get all of the good players that we can get, uh, we could get to the... Um, World Cup in 2026, and we could do better as a nation, Nigeria. Well, good one out there. Coming from Adia now, Noel, if you look at Super Eagles, uh, uh, it's not something that uh, we'll be happy to talk about, their performance, but when it comes to club side, uh, well, it needs to go there to see into their activities, what they are doing, how good they are, are they, how fit are they, by the time Super Eagles begins to uh, go into qualifiers for AFCON, for World Cup, or the about whatever I want to play, I think it's needed. It's, it's a good one, one from the supervisor coach going to see those players, but it's not about seeing those players alone. It's about how to s make them uh, be like a team where they come to the national side. Because you can see Awuni in one of the best form of his life presently now. Mm. So you can see against Chelsea, the runs he was making to the extent he won the man of the match. Mm. And you can see he scored the only goal for Nintendo Forest City, but can I replicate such performance when it comes to play with the Super Eagles? Mm. It's another problem. Look at Eddie D. Look at uh, Yenach also too. Yenach, whenever, he, although he's not playing regularly for Leicester City now, whenever he's called on to come and play, he performs. But is that he performs when it comes to the national team? So that's another thing you should also look at, not only just um, going to just see how the players okay. Like the likes of uh, Dennis, Dennis that is uh, being re required as surplus in this team, he can go motivate him, okay, how far to do, we'll probably look for a good call for him. But apart from that, what are they, are they implicating such good performance here? Mm in mm. Nigeria because when you check our players they are playing well, in fact most of them they are, they are in look at say do that plays for a Portuguese club is in the first team FC there Porto. It's, it's the first team there look at uh Sadiq 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 Simon Paul uh, Paul in uh, that plays for Adimola, Luke, why not all of them they, they, are, they, are, they are in the first team except when they are injured that's when they don't play but now you bring those kind of players bringing them to the Super Eagles now is like oh, if you catch anybody we waste anybody that comes to us, give them like four, ten, six zero, but <laughs> the, the problem is always difficult. Reverse is the case. I don't know what the problem is. So it should look, it should look basically on that aspect. And uh, someone is actually saying, okay, it's good we have them there. They are playing. They are uh, one of the best league, Italia, La Liga, uh, Serie A, whatever. But 
our league here, our players in Nigeria, the MPFL, there are, we need to look inward. There are so many good players who are far better than these guys. But because, one, we know the issue here, good fatherism, they don't have what it takes somehow, you know, uh, to even get enough to be picked. Even if they pick them, they may not feature them by the time. If you remember the game played against Ghana, that match, imagine if you, like, we call them Pakuru here, if you put those Pakuru <laughs> boys to play against that particular Ghana team, yes, it could, be, it could be difficult, but do you know they could give a very tough tough time to the Ghanaians yes, in that true. game that was played in Abuja. I think countless times we've talked about how Nigerian players, the MPFL players, should be involved mm. more in the national team. I remember there have been countless of reports about MPFL players complaining about not being called to the national team. And it's time for us to actually rejig that strategy and look into the book and see how well we can utilize this boys. Look at the likes of, I know of this guy, um, okay, um, Sikiru, Sikiru was Alimi. one of uh, Alimi, he's one, one very good player, one striker that you can uh, you cannot take away from the books. We have the likes of uh, Kabiru Umar, Kabiru Umar was good until, you know, he joined Plateau United and who knows what's happening to him now. Now look at Kano Pillars, before they were uh, demoted from the MPF, we have very mm. good players. At some point we had, we saw Ahmed Issa going to train with Kano Pillars uh, when he was actually scouting for a club. And it, it, it's just so painful that we're not seeing what we've got. We just put all of our effort in, into the international scene. These boys, like you call them, Pakuru boys, <laughs> they've got the strength, the stamina that you need from footballers. And they want to, they want want to, to make it. They want to make money. So they about, are not afraid. It's not about calling them. Okay. Mm. I've I forgotten there was a match. It seems it was 2014 World Cup or what? There was this guy uh, that played for Chan. You see, when Anderson Echidile had an injury, was caught, he went back then, he called him. I forgot this guy's name. He was invited to the, to the World Cup. He seems to only played once. Or even if it wasn't me, it was nine minutes, and like at five minutes he played. Mm. So what's the essence of inviting him if he's not going to play? Mm. We saw what happened at the Nations Cup. Yes. How many, many home-based players actually made that squad to, to At uh, least you, to have, Cameroon. You, you can see everybody on the squad. Is that playing for Europe, playing for an uh, Italian, uh, Syria, or what? Which of, and even though you can just add like two or three home base players to the team, at least it's going to give them the exposure. We could be disabled because of the exposure, the experience, but if they don't play, how would they have the exposure? How would they have the experience? So, have you ever thought of why we have Nigerian based players going outside the country, especially in the eastern part of Africa, going to play their trick then? Mm. Because they're not valued in Nigeria. Sikiru Alimi that you just mentioned was played for Morocco before. He played, he played for in Libya. In Libya. So mm. you can see that all other African countries value our players than we do in this country. And if we continue on that chase, this rejigging of the Super Eagles, we still have we still having the, the same, same results, same doing same the same thing all definitely. over again. It's going to be business as usual. And really, we do not need business as usual at the point that we're in right now. We just have to get it right when it comes to sport in Nigeria. Right now, a lot of uh, international stars have been looked over by Pizarro, but we need to look inward by developing the home base player, giving them the opportunity to showcase their talent. Talented player abide in the MPF and even in the NNL, not forgetting the Nationwide League One. Right now, we move away from there. Let's quickly talk about the big one that will be happening today between Manchester City and Chelsea at the Stamford Bridge. Will the bridge collapse or will it stand still to withstand the heat from Manchester City squad? That squad is really loaded, as we call it. And you look at Chelsea, uh, maybe somebody called them, someone called them a small club yesterday. <laughs> and there's something easier to fight for that. And really, you look at Bridge, the Stanford Bridge is the place to be tonight. Uh, 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 I would like to use one of your And your small club. <laughs> <laughs> you remember we said, oh, what is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the bridge will not break. Seriously. I'm not, I'm I don't know. I have the 89 minutes, Chelsea is going to score. It's going to be one. That's zero. what you said yesterday. You are still minutes. saying it that yes. Chelsea will score. They, let them have, the, if like 90 10, I don't care possession. The, what I know is that three points. Yeah, are, are you trying to bring Morillo's style back by packing the balls and just get the goal? You know, the that, first, the first, uh, Mario, the first time he was in Chelsea, his style was to score one and go home. Score one and just win. And that was, it was working for him. Before they discovered his style, he has won the league. I think he's still, he's still doing that <laughs> in, in, in uh, wherever no he 
it is Italia, right now. Roma I, I, is in I Rome. Think, uh, yes, I, I saw that play out yesterday. Mm. When, uh, okay, it was a, maybe it was a replayed match, but I saw that. Play no, they played out. yesterday. They won. Okay. They won their game. Yes. Okay, so yes, I watched Roma. the match, but I wasn't really a sure. very sure. If okay, it was that was a live match. match you saw. Okay, so uh, that thing happened. It happened yesterday after the first goal. You know, we saw that the big boss was packed in the middle of the um, field. But aside that. Um, Chelsea Man City. The bridge is not going to collapse. What we can, we're definitely going to see some cracks. Well, from the way I see it, I, I'm like I'm having two Chelsea fans in the studio I, because I know, it's not good. from I, your from it's your not, bail, it's not boosting. It's from not your bail to your That's talk, be to is Chelsea. <laughs> hello, hello. I'm not a Chelsea fan. <laughs> okay. But I, I, I've seen Manchester City play after the World Cup, and um, I've seen how very very hungry they are to get to the top flight even though as now is not making it easy for anybody at this point and i'm seeing a club chelsea who's trying to make a point they're trying to get to the top five so i think it's going to be a cracker this evening every eyes every um talks this evening will be on in in, in london mm. uh, and we'll get to see who be the man of the match? I can see my Arsenal brothers so, supporting so, <laughs> us. <laughs> so it's not Arsenal. It's not all about clubs that are supporting. It's all about what Chelsea has to bring to the table. We are bringing because we don't. They, the who, the who, who don't want that cup to go to Manchester again. It has to come to London. Okay, okay let's do, let's do it right, this let's way. Let's do it this way. Let's look at the way the table is standing. Even though we know that Man City actually training Arsenal on the log there, but Chelsea that will be hosting them today or tonight. Uh, right now they have 25 points, playing 16 matches and they have two as per goal difference and you look at Manchester City uh, bulldozing their way 28, 28 goal difference you have 36 points and if you look at it 11 points ahead of Chelsea we we'll reduce it today you reduce it mm. 11 points we we'll reduce it don't worry Man City 36 Chelsea 25, 25. we we'll reduce it today I, 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 like I said I, there's going to be <laughs> it's going to be a cracker it, we have two teams who are fighting to be in a certain position. We have mm. Chelsea who's fighting to be in the top four or top five. Sorry, which of course don't I don't we are not think... fighting. No, we no, are no. Going to, it's our bet right. We will go there. Oh, <laughs> we I are see. saying fighting as if we are, we are, we are not struggling. You're struggling we are, on the we are, we are struggling. We are struggling in a I moment the, now. The point difference is not much. But no, it's more 11 points. It's not no, much. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm it's talking small, about top small, five right now. Mm. I'm talking about Just getting to the top will be five. There, yeah. Because I sometimes know. some of these big clubs, the so-called big clubs. Now, if you say top five, mm. look at it from Tony Amor Sport, even from Manchester United and Newcastle, Man City to Tony Amor Sport, they have 36 to 33. Then from six position, that's Liverpool Just to three. Chelsea. They have 28 20, to 25. Right, exactly. mm. Now, to get to that man, <laughs> to get to the top four, they would need 10 good points. The thing 10 is, point which, is wait, wait, which other teams won't be sleeping? Mm -hmm. we are, we are, see, this is wake up time. No, when you look at it, when you wake look at it, time. Brentford, Brighton, Fulham, I mm. think it's a, a team that Chelsea can displace. I of know course. that every, displace every, every team is actually fighting to get there. They mm. can't displace these people. Now the fight will be, will be between Tottenham and Liverpool, which of course I know that these teams will not be sleeping. Mm. From what they have, from the way they have performed this season, of course, uh, uh, Chelsea will have, will, uh, to Liverpool and Tottenham will give Chelsea a run for their money. I doubt if Chelsea would get to the Champions League next You'll be shocked. Season. All right. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I love to be shocked. You'll be shocked. Chelsea is going to be taught, not even fought. Oh. I, I now, like now, the now, now, let, let's look at it this thought, way. Let's fought. look at it this way. If Chelsea are able to win tonight, yes. they will cut the 11 point mm -hmm. by 3. Yes. yes. It should remain 8 points. Yes. True. And if we go back to that table and check, 8 points behind. Now, if they, if they, if they should win, they will have 28 points. Yes, it will be eight now. They will now be standing. I don't know how many goals they will score. So they either <laughs> they are ahead, either they are ahead of Fulham now. You understand? They will be ahead of Fulham if they score more goals. But if they just win by a, a, a goal and they, they decide to be on uh, eighth position, right ahead of Brighton, it's still a top task, a, a Herculean task because you have from 36. To 33 is still a long way to go because those guys, Man City, Newcastle, Man United, Tottenham Hotspur, Liverpool, 
they will not be sleeping. That's that's more like a one quarter ahead of Chelsea, which is on the tenth <laughs> position that, right now. When <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think sometimes I, I think sometimes um, clubs like Chelsea. I, I, I wouldn't want to say the fans because we have very cool people who support Chelsea, but I see a lot of Chelsea fans. You know do a lot of talking. I don't know if it's a way of making themselves feel hey. very good. Yeah, but, but a lot of but, people call them a Larry Wars. Oh my God. <laughs> we, don't, we don't just talk. Uh, noise makers. We don't just right. talk. We, we perform. Oh, let, let's see. I, That's I, how they said. Uh, Chelsea, you win the Champions League. Someone even looked at me my face. He said, if you win the Champions League, I will meet. We will shock them. It's oh. not boasting. That's we wait to see things. if truly they'll be shocking tonight. <laughs> Manchester City versus Chelsea at the Stamford Bridge. That's the story we're actually looking at. And it's been a big one in the studio between Madia Omar and Noel Samson. Well, even though Madia supports Arsenal, uh, one way or the other, uh, part of our body is saying Arsenal, another side is actually talking oh from Manchester goodness. City. Right. <laughs> I, I, I love the confusion. Oh, I never goodness. know the team that I support. Well, Chelsea battles Manchester City tonight, and a big one there at the Stamford Bridge. Would the bridge really be standing, even though they want to use Mourinho's style? According to Noel Samson, just pack the balls and get the goal. At least getting the three points at stake for the Blues there. Well, quickly, let's move on and talk about uh, Spanish Copa del Rey. Match used to be coming up. Let's look at the fixtures. Uh, Gymnasium de Tarragona, we're playing against Osasuna. Ibiza, Isla Pituza against Real Betis. Athletic Bilbao against Endense. One good thing about the Copa del Rey or uh, the Copa Cup is the fact that you seem to, to give you the chance to know much about the third tier, the second tier, the one we call uh, Superliga or thereabout uh, of the, uh, talking about the Spanish Cup. You go to Italy and you look at those uh, clubs, you look at uh, uh, English, uh, uh, that's in EFL Cup, you'll be wondering where those clubs are coming from. But really, they are giant killers. Yesterday, Barcelona nearly, they nearly lost that game against uh, Intercity de la Cant because it ended 4-3. They nearly, and it was a tough one for them. So right now, all these uh, teams that I mentioned earlier that look like, where are they coming from? Mm. They can actually bring, spring up surprises. Of, of course. We, we saw that game between Barcelona and uh, inter, it, it, inter, inter, it was really, really um, heart-pounding for me. And I felt like, what's going on? Is it that there was complacency or there was, you know, this... Um, on the rating of team before it all started. Mm -hmm. But he actually made them understand that, yo, you are back. And this is business. You have mm. to face the real business. So it was a good one for look, me. Look at that result yesterday. Yes. Uh, Intercity and Dallas can't 3-4 against Barcelona. Very, Seven very, goals straight. Very, yeah, very close one. Um, Most of these teams, but when they get, they can't even, they want to get, they can't even win the cup. That is the most annoying thing. Uh, but at least they always want to, you know the reason why it's very juicy? As you progress, they hire the money. Mm -hmm. You understand? So as, assuming they are able to defeat Barcelona, they will get more money for the fact that they qualify for next round. So I love the fact that the Copa, uh, Copa del Rey or EFL Cup or FA Cup, as you progress, the money keeps coming. You know, it's exactly. not like a run, like the league now until you finished. Yeah, yeah, before you, you understand. Get your money. Aha, uh -huh. whoever wins get. But yeah, this yes. one, as you progress, just like Champions League, the uh -huh. money keeps getting bigger and bigger. That's why you see the, uh, the likes of all these clubs that their names sound like. Where are they from? Are they from Pluto? But, are they from the Rados? But play yesterday, mm. Intercity de la Cante is a team to watch out for. Mm. You know, they did their best yesterday. Uh, funny enough, you didn't see that funny coming. Funny they are in the top tier of uh, uh, Spanish uh, league. Uh, of course. So they, 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 they are like always progressing. Uh, it uh, doesn't matter. Your play right now come. really matters. <laughs> 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 they may not even come to the top, that's so the top let, tier let's league. Let's see if they keep this momentum. Let's mm. see what happens. And they, these are the kind of uh, clubs that they know that this uh, appearance is flashing the pan. So yeah, they want to like, this opportunity to play against Barcelona. Almighty, let's do something. That's what they do. Apparently, there are some players again from there again. They yes, scouts. Exactly. Of course. Sometimes I, I think that uh, football is moving from who plays for the first. Look at the name of these clubs. Ibiza. You know, the, the first thing you remember about Ibiza is if, if you're a tourist. <laughs> if of, you're course, a tourist. of course. Ibiza. Of course. Oh, I want to go to Ibiza. El Denzi, uh, Gymnasium de Tarragona. We be like, well, what is this? Which club is this? You oh. know, most oh, but, of them actually play in Tortilla. But, but, but the thing is, if you're a lover of 
Spain or Spanish team mm. or are anything you, that has to do with Spanish. Mm. Of course, you'd be very. Are you very, a lot of Spanish? Oh my goodness! You should, <laughs> you should ask about me. Oh, oh my God. goodness! Well, I just want to throw some tantrum in the studio there quickly. Let's run through some stories in the world of football as we transfer. Let's start from our home. MPFL Sikru Alimi, a player that's play applies trade in Libya, Morocco. Now joining uh, shooting stars of Ibadan right now. It will be adding more spice to that club. And quickly, we we'll add more. Let's talk about Benfica. Benfica rejects Chelsea's first offer for uh, Argentina midfielder Enzo Fernandez, who did well at the World Cup. Well, Chelsea right now, they've actually submitted a bid, but from the way it is, Benfica are rejecting. They want more money, just like the way Arsenal are doing with uh, Mikel uh, Modric there. See, talking about some transfer stories there. Let's look at another one that has to do with uh, uh, Lampard. Although Lampard news came out that he, he could be sacked, but he says, I am still in charge at Goodison Park, coming from uh, Frank Lampard. They want to call the lamb. Well, from the way it is, Lampard needs to up his game. And Axton Villa, Axton Villa rejects loan bid uh, for Everton. Yes, they reject loan bid from Everton for striker Danny Ings. Uh, Danny Ings has been doing well for that club. But right now, Everton wants him. Uh, they want him on loan. But Aston Villa is saying they want him to be taken permanently. If I'm going to buy him, come for him full time so that we can make more money. Well, those are the stories we're quickly looking at. But let's just look at uh, Axton Villa rejecting the bid from Everton. They want a full buy, not a loan buy. I don't really know what they want. Well, what they want is they want to make more money. If it's only going to be on loan, the money will be smaller. Mm -hmm. But it's business, everything is business. What is about uh, it's also your priority first? Yeah, exactly. So, probably, but everything seems they need a striker, not really. Mm -hmm. So, they are, they are, but instead of going out, you know, since they say they want, but probably they are, everything they want, they want to buy because of the age of Danny Inks, probably. It seems it's in his, it's in his 30s already. Yes. So, why buy a player that is 30? I mean, maybe, probably, maybe experience, you know. Why they need the loan? Why they need the loan? Not to buy it. I think I think um, Everton is a very good team, but they need players that are experienced. I think this is a time for them to throw in the money. Mm. Ings is doing incredibly well, and they need players that are experienced. Show the young players the way. I know they have quite a number of, uh, you know, experienced players, but this Ings that we're seeing right now, I think, is one team, uh, one player that um, Everton needs right now. now so let me they take just you. risk it mm. and get him. Now, let, let me flip it back to that Lampard story. Uh, news came out that he could be sacked, but he says he's still in charge at the Goodison Park. Uh, it's not been very easy for Lampard. Mm. And uh, moving from one club to the other, trying to um, stamp a feet there, it's not been easy. But we've seen that you know, fluctuation for far too long. And a lot of people have complained that, you know, you need to step up again, you need to do the best that you can. We've seen that play out when he was with Chelsea. We've seen that play out and was right in now. And in Derby. And, and, and now this is happening. I think this is his style. He needs uh, some time. And I'm not surprised if at the end of the day he mm. loses his job at Goodison Park. Now, uh, let me throw this to Noel. Uh, Lampard, like I always say, not everyone's supposed to be a coach. <laughs> Seriously. You don't, you don't have, if you look at yourself, is, is it by force to be a coach? <laughs> look at Will Rooney. Look at Rooney. Uh, look at Lampard. Yes, look at Gary Neville. Is he Gary, Gary, Gary Neville? Their coach. He used to be their coach. So. Gary Neville. <laughs> look at what happened to him at Valencia. Yeah, yeah, now, exactly. he, now that he actually went back to what he used to do, Ponditry, you see that he's doing well. He's better. <laughs> Lampard is a very good pundit. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what pushed him to football. Now, look at how they are just bamboozling him. They are don't be surprised before the, the end of today. Don't be Anything surprised. Anything can happen, right? That is how, that's how they be. Oh that's my how this behave. Don't uh, be surprised. Uh, uh, and really, I still don't understand. Lampard, uh, Rooney, they can fall. They can be like Beckham. Beckham. They I don't can know. be like Beckham and, and decide to go into uh, football administration. I don't know about and all that. Lampard. I don't know. He, ha he always has a good playing style. Look at when he was in Chelsea. Yeah, but, the, but first he he played, the, the first match he played against Manchester United, mm. the way they won us 4-0. Chelsea played like 80-20 possession, but we, 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 lose, we, we lost 4-0 in that match. And same as other match. And same as the, uh, against uh, in Everton also. He plays a good football, but the problem is he doesn't have that. Maybe he has to work on his attacking, uh, I don't know. I don't, maybe attacking skill or the way he does his attackers. So I don't know what the problem is. So if and what you say, if you know you cannot, if you cannot improve, why not go and design? Okay. But really, I, I can see okay. that a lot of punches for Lampard. <laughs> like I said, like I said, mm. it's his style, 
and we've seen a, a lot of long trations. Mm. We've seen a lot of mistakes on his part. Um, maybe that is a way of him getting back, but we've seen that for too long. I don't want to align with you that, you know, um, coaching is not his calling, mm. but this is what he loves to do. But do you know you can actually love, love you, you can love something <laughs> and, 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 and this one doesn't love you. <laughs> Gary okay. Neville loved coaching, right? Mm. What happened to the him? Because he doesn't love him. Rooney loved coaching. He doesn't love him too. <laughs> I, are you telling me that Beckham doesn't know how to coach? Ah. But he decided to, ah, let me lay where I am. He didn't even I will go into even... football ministry. I will go into club side. He, 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 he I will do is, this. He's probably I will do that. taking time. Look at, uh, uh, what's his name now? Michael Owen and uh, uh, this guy that is... Uh, Karaga. Karaga. Yeah. They are into pond. Go to Pondit. They are into Pondit. They are now enjoying themselves. Even now, JJ will coach himself. Yes. From yes. Look at JJ. <laughs> Just like that JJ is a slow talker. <laughs> yes. They still feature him and he's doing well. Mm -hmm. He's really doing well because uh, like right now, JJ has really, really... Paul, in fact, when he started, you know, he was like, you know, he's a slow talker. Okay, exactly. But people are now used to his kind of pace and, yeah, exactly. of talking. Look at um, uh, Karaga. He's doing well. So... And you look at Lampard. Lampard was, in fact, when he was a pundit, he was doing so well. He knows how to analyze a lot. So I still don't know what pushed him to coach him. Maybe, maybe he thinks the analysis will bring you. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe bring this, this will be an eye open. Maybe when he, um, I wouldn't want to use the word. Nobody I'm told to Gary. Nobody told him. Gary Neville to leave, <laughs> to leave coach when he ran. <laughs> so I'm trying you to know? be soft on him. Now, probably when this happens, when he finally leaves, I wouldn't say he will be sacked. He would now realize that his calling is not really. Okay, in. I'm that sure you, 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 uh, you heard about like Salford it. FC, okay. right? Salford FC, where the class of 99 of Manchester United decided to buy that club and decide to go into that business, right? They'd be like, okay, we can buy a, a club. The likes of uh, Paul Scholes, Beckham, all of them gathering money to buy that particular club. And now, they are building it. Before you know it, one day it will come. You just hear Salford FC, blah, yes. blah, blah. Yes. Now, for Lampard, Rooney, I guess. Rooney right now, I still look at Rooney as an executive in football. Somebody that not could have gone yet, into... Not into coaching. His, his image, his image will fit into that kind of Beckham style. Exactly. Go there, be a okay, CEO, CEO, director CEO. of sports. Yeah, not on. you running on the pitch. Because it's and not you are losing. It's not favoring him. Yeah, you are losing everything. Well, we just have okay, to go Lampard. right now. <laughs> Lampard, I'm so sorry on we behalf to... of this man. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to take the right decision. We have to go now. Uh, my dear Omar, even though you are supporting Lampard, maybe we'll share you some part of the money when you get sacked. Who says I'm not getting part of oh the money? Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> good there. Well, Samson, thank you for coming on the show. It's pleasure, is And so. also, my dear Omar, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. I am um, Adini Ajishafe. We're Sport is always business and fitness. Thanks for watching.